Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna review the latest version and official version of the Havoc OS. Its version is 3.11 and its Android version is 10. As you can see here, its security patch is latest 5 November 2020. So the ROM is pretty stable and this one is one of my favorite ROMs. So in this video, we're gonna review this ROM and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 8 and Note 8T. So without any further ado, let's get started. I really like the Havoc OS because its performance is just lit and uh, the battery backup of this ROM is also really amazing. The overall performance of this ROM is also good. As you can see here, the app opening speed is also good. It is opening the applications quickly. And in this ROM, we have the Mi camera pre-installed with all working features. And you can also install the Gcam modes from the link in the description. And in the launcher, we have this launcher, launcher with some minimum settings. And then we have gestures, widgets, and uh, styles and wallpapers. In the wallpapers, we have only one wallpaper pre-installed. But don't worry, you can install a lot of live wallpapers by watching my previous videos. And in the styles, we have four styles pre-installed. You can create your own by clicking on the custom button. Then we have cloak styles. Right from here, you can pick up any one for your lock screen. And it works pretty much awesome. The overall performance of this ROM is also pretty amazing. And we have a lot of shortcuts right over here in the state, uh, quick settings. Like gaming mode, FPS info, all the advanced features are available. And the gaming performance of this ROM is also very well. As you can see here, I have installed PUBG Mobile and it is working without any issue. Now let's dig into the settings to explore more features. In the settings we have network and internet connected devices, configuration center. From here you can customize the whole ROM. First of all we have the status bar. From here you can enable or disable the clock. Right from here you can enable a custom logo for your status bar. Then we have some gestures and uh, network indicators, carrier labels. You can change the battery icon you can manage the battery percentage you can enable or disable the battery bar then we have the status bar icons and some icon settings after it we have the settings of quick settings you can also blur the background so and you can also enable the header images right from here after it we have the lock screen right from here you can enable or disable the gesture and you can also enable or disable the pocket detection and it is working pretty much awesome Okay, as you can see here, it is working awesome. Then we have ambient display. From here, you can enable the always on display, which is working good. As you can see here. After it, we have the buttons and navigation bar. From here, you can manage the navigation system. Uh, from here, you can enable or disable or choose any. A navigation style like three button two button or navigation gestures and you can also hide the navigation bar pill right from here to get the seamless full screen display after it we have the IME button space and uh, you can manage the power menu right from here then you can manage the volume rocker button settings and back gestures after it we have the gestures from here you can manage the jump to camera system navigation bar prevent ringing and swipe three fingers for screenshot okay yes it is working as you can see here then we have the notifications from here you can manage the notification lights like edge lightning heads up snooze timer etc then we have the battery saving option from here you can enable the suspend actions and block the sensors to save the battery life then we have the screen animations and the media settings and in the MISC we have the gaming mode, screenshot type, wake device, charging animation and uh, some dashboard suggestions right over here and you can also read about the team of Havoc OS and uh, after it we have the battery. The battery performance of this ROM is just amazing 
and here we have the battery saver adaptive battery and smart charging which is working good then we have the display in the display we have all the settings from the previous roms so and after it we have the sound the sound quality of this rom is also pretty much awesome because we have the xiaomi parts pre-installed in this rom which will be helpful to enhance the sounding quality and uh, in the lock screen we get the face lock and fingerprint options right here fingerprint is just working awesome and we also have the app lock right here first let me add the face unlock to test it out and uh, i don't know <laughs> it is it is showing nothing let's try again enter the password click on agree start it's showing nothing i don't know why let's have it another try agree accessibility no it is not working i don't know why and uh, then we have the app locker right here and this one is just amazing feature after it we have the system in the system we have languages and input date and time backup reset option multiple users and at the end we have the about phone section from here you can check your have OS version which is the 3.11 and android version is 10 security patch of this rom is just latest 5 november 2020 so the rom is pretty stable and there is no any single bug or issue in this rom fully lagless and bugless rom so and yes this is the recommended rom for daily usage and if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 8 or redmi note 8 t just download the rom and uh, reboot your device into any installed custom recovery and after going into the recovery go to wipe click on advanced wipe and from here wipe everything except the internal storage and sd card just wipe from here after wiping go to install and locate your downloaded rom mine is right here just click on it and flash it right from here after flashing the rom and uh, just click on the reboot button and click on reboot system you can also flash the magic zip file if you want to root your rom so after a few seconds the rom will be installed on your redmi note 8 so hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, also press the bell icon for the future updates. Peace.